Never turn to Let's Play of Vernum. We got some stuff to do here. Hmm. Well, damn. I think I'll start working on defense. There are a few other things I wanted to do. Is it cave lore? I think I might need cave lore. So we'll add one there. Shit, I keep forgetting. gain from that. Okay, so this gives me a ward. Return life for 13. Okay. That'll be what we focus on there. Endurance. Wizard spell. Cave lore. So I should have quite a bit of cave lore now, although I don't quite remember cave lore west of Fort Draco. Okay, that was way up there. What else? The old battlefield, which was somewhere else. Anyway, I'm going to come down here to this Nephilim encampment, and then we'll go back to town and turn in that quest. of stuff here. Ah, that is where I need to go. There's a small band of Nephilim clustered here, sitting and shivering by a cold fire pit. They are hungry and mangy. That's not what that says at all. They are a hungry and mangy group. They have probably only survived by stealing from the farms of Kotra to the south. Kotra? Katra? I forget how I was pronouncing it. When you get close, they stand, grab their crude weapons, and start yowling at you. It's a commotion fit to wake the dead. Um, warn them to leave? This never works. It doesn't take much effort to scare them off. They grab their crude weapons and head north, probably looking for a tribe that can take them in. Enemy of Avernum or not, they were too pathetic to kill. That's not entirely true, and I don't know if that actually is going to take care of the quest. in here. There's apparently nothing I can get from there. Okay. Uh, let's go over here to this encampment. What is this? You meet a loud, boisterous band of Avernite soldiers. Their armor and weapons look like they've seen a lot of use lately, but their actual bodies are free of wounds. They're a wild, loud, and lethally competent bunch of fighters. When they see you, they greet you with great cheer. After offering some of their harsh mushroom wine, they ask if you'd like to buy some of the loot they've taken from dead slits. Why not? Uh, who... Okay, wow. Oh, never mind, I'm looking at the wrong one again. Damn it. Plus 2% chance to hit versus the foe. I don't think we'll take that. Blessed belt. I'm wearing a blessed belt. That's a studded belt. Uh, there's only one of those. This has magical efficiency, but that's a lot more. You know what? What is this? Okay, you know what? Uh, you can buy the blessed belt. Although that's a lot of money for just 2% hit points that he's not actually going to be using. Yeah, forget it. He hardly gets hit in combat anyway. 
Unless I do something really stupid and get myself surrounded. Meet a group of guards from the city of Contra. They're on patrol. After mutual greetings, they give you a warning. Be very careful if you're planning to travel farther west. There's a lot of sliths in this area, and they're very dangerous. You thank them for the warning and continue on your way. As they leave, you notice that they look like they've seen a lot of combat lately. Worn armor, dented weapons, recently applied bandages. So, how are they different from this group? Okay, uh, mayor. Mayor, mayor. Let's look. Trap door. Trap door. Where did that go? The mayor's office. Right up here. It keep going. City hall. Err. Whenever you're in his office, the mayor gives you his full attention. Perhaps he thinks that you can be useful to him, or perhaps he is just nervous around armed strangers. I've rescued the prisoners who were held by the Nephirim. Tell the mayor of how you freed the prisoners of the Nephirim. Ah, yes, I'm glad you came to me. The prisoners returned here and are already, already back out fighting the good fight. They were eager to take the war to the kiddies. He leaves for a moment and then returns with a thick leather cloak and a pouch. Please accept this money and this cloak with our most sincere thanks. Without your help, these good soldiers would have surely died. Well, they were very shaken after your successful raid on them, and of course we got our soldiers back. Okay, so... Do you have more work for me? No. Hmm... Well, this did not work. I should have attacked them. I wonder if I go back if they'll be there. Um, let's check out what he gave me. Cloak. Plus one to sniper. What is her cloak? Just plus four. Okay, she can have that. I think it's time I start clearing things out here. Got wine. Who needed that wine? I don't know. I need to turn that in. Um, okay, well, I'm going to go back to that area after I take care of this. Okay. We should have plenty of cave lore now. Head back up here and see if they're back. I hope they are. They are not. Great. Why didn't I just attack them? Why was I stupid about it? Underground fort. Man, I don't remember crap about where I am. Fort Draco wine, all the way back up in Fort Draco. And sugar. For mellow. I still have that, right? Where was that bag of sugar? Oh, please don't tell me I sold that too. Right. I didn't actually pick it up because I uh, didn't want to use one of these. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know where it is. Um, what else is around here? I can go out there by boat or I can come back up to Fort Dranlin. So let's go up to Fort Dranlin. Let's come over here, though. Fill out the map a little bit more. What is that? I've already forgotten. I think I probably picked that up. The sign says uh, it's written in Slith pictographs. You can't understand any of it. Let's save. I don't think I've fought any of the Sliths. 
Here's an opportunity. You ran territory that is subject to a fierce contest between the human humans and the Slith Zerakai. Thus, it is a real surprise to find a bath. Bath. Wow. It is a real surprise to find a band of Nephilim here, tempting attacks from both sides. There are a lot of them. Probably the only reason any of them are still here. When you approach within view, several of their archers immediately leap for their weapons. Their leader steps forward. Ah, we are warriors of the split tail. This land is ours now. Depart, or you will be shot through with arrows. Yeah, about that. Let's take out Chieftain. Okay. Can I? Hmm. If I could get in there and then use my whirlwind attack, that'd be pretty sweet. But I don't think I can. So... Instead, I will have to focus on other things. Very nice, very nice. I see rain. How many can I take out with this? I should probably work, focus on the magic users. There we go. Oh, and I can't use my special now. Uh... quite what I'd hoped it would. Let's, um... Well, we don't really need to use that, but I'll use it anyway. Now let's drop it there. Let's see what we can do with these monsters. Switch weapons. Okay. Uh, let's go pick some of this stuff up. A gold necklace. Cave wood bow. What was that? Crude black sword. Okay. You survey the wreckage of the battlefield. The split tail clan has been driven from these lands. You search their camp and find several pouches of coins and semi precious stones the Nephilim extorted from passing caravans. You also find a lovely curved blade in their chief's tent. Uh Radiant Short Sword, was that what I picked up? Really oh no. A Nephilim war blade. 10% faster retreat. Ooh. Oh, I can't. Damn it. Radiant short sword, right. Uh. I'll give that to you? I suppose I could give it to him, but. Oh, yeah. You can have that. How long was I holding on to this? I don't know. All this. Can you use this? Hmm. Plus two to quick action, plus one to blade master. As opposed to one to strength and dexterity and ten percent faster reach. Hmm. Okay, I'll take it. I'll give this to you. Um. Although, which is actually better. That doesn't really matter, I guess. He hardly ever gets in for attack. She's better with pole weapons. Okay. Move. Looking for secrets. What are these? Pick those up. What does this say? Fort Dranlin. 
Ah, there are some slits. Let's test our metal against them. What I meant to say was metal, but we will also test the metal of our blades. You have stumbled upon a small band of slit scouts. They have slipped behind enemy lines and are keeping an eye on Fort Dranlin to the west. The moment they see you, they attack, determined to keep their presence here a secret. Let's see how well that goes for them. Let's kill the slinger first. Ooh, they are quite tough. They are going to be quite tough. Oh my god. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I was thinking I was picking up the dazed thing. Damn it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and do this. Wow, that actually... Oh, damn, I already used my... Ah, blah, 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 blah. Well, let's kill it. Um, war blessing. I meant to use days. Oh, that, uh, that worked out okay. Wow. They do quite a bit of damage to them. Why did this guy take so much damage? They make a lovely sound when they die. You know what? That takes... I've got this, uh... Improved fireball I keep forgetting to use. Uh, am I going to take a penalty for this? No. Clearly the flingers are a bit better than the other ones. Good grief. Okay, come over here. A slith spear. <clears throat> spear? I'll take it, but I'll put it in the junk bag for now. You search the bodies of the dead scouts. The warrior that led them was wearing a beautifully tooled leather jacket. Once you repair the gaping holes, your attack left in it, it will be quite nice. a quite nice trophy. Um, treat in leather. Armor 10%. Maybe I can give that to him. Although, hmm. What I'm wearing gives me plus 10 to... 10% to my blessings. So I don't think I actually want to use it. Even though it gives me better armor. You know what, I'll just hang on to it, just in case uh, we come across something where I need a lot of armor. And there's a secret up here. Okay. Uh, there's a large well-disguised slit supply cache here. You were lucky to notice it here, hidden behind this crystal formation. Loot! You find plenty of food, a fine slit spear, and some stuff you could barter. Such as a war spear. Is this better than the other one? It does a little bit more maximum damage, but again, it doesn't have the ability to attack other uh, other things. I don't see anything else I picked up. How am I going to get it over there? It almost looks like I have to come at it from behind, because it looks like... Well, I guess I can probably tool around here in my boat. So there's a church over there. Fort Dranlin. And I probably should take some time to... Uh, a slith spear! Again, a weak... weak one. Um, well, here's an opportunity for me to use one of those... Oh, wow, they're all over the place. 
for me to use one of my dispel things. Crude spears. Crude javelins, rather. I should probably start using that. Surely there must be a place around here that I can enter secretly. Fort Dranlin, approach barriers to be allowed entry. Ah, there's a little thing there. I wonder, is that a trap? I don't know. Let's up all these javelins. There we go. Let's save. Even if it is a trap, I should be able to... This fort doesn't have a normal gate made of iron and stone. Instead, the passages are in... The passages in are blocked by a series of magical barriers. Similar barriers have also been erected to repair holes in the wall. There must be a strong magician presence here. Without the magical barriers shoring up their defenses, the warriors here would be in a difficult situation. The slith bodies at the fort perimeter make it clear who the enemy is. I didn't see any slith bodies. These were all humans. As you look around, a soldier peeks out through a window. Greetings, visitor. Please say your name and business here. Tell him your name. He nods and writes the information down. Then a few moments later, a gap opens in the barrier. He says, come on in. Can't be too careful the way things are nowadays. Let's check around. Good lying around. There's some fish, which at this point are probably useless because they will never do enough health or enough healing that uh, they'll be worth anything. Although there's some gloves here, thick leather gloves, worthless. Got three thread, I don't need them. What is this? Commander Rosie. Where? Ah, Commander Rosie. You deliver the message to Commander Rosie. She opens it, reads it, swears, and crumples it up. You politely point out that a fee for delivery is expected. She pays you a few coins, grumbling and cursing all the while. This woman wears a heavy steel breastplate. The craftsmanship is remarkable, and the style is fairly modern. It must have recently been brought down from the surface. She wears the insignia of a commander. She nods to you. Welcome, warrior. I am Commander Rosie. This beleaguered fort is under our control. Ragged, as you saw, but still standing. Are you in charge of this fort? Yes, I'm in command here. This unfortunate fortress is the front against the eastern arm of the Slith Menace, the first line of defense. What fort is this? This is Fort Dranlin. It's worn and cracked, but still standing steady. Tell me about the Slith's. The Slith's Zarekai? They're nasty warriors. Powerful mages. They batter the walls with fireballs trying to knock them down. Fortunately, we have a mage to repair them. She grunts. If only we knew what they were planning. I've asked the castle to send some scouts to gather intelligence, but I've had no luck. Uh, who's the mage that protects your walls? Merwin. She fills the holes with magical barriers. If it weren't for her, this fort would have fallen long ago. I could try to figure out what the slits are planning. Really? Hmm. She looks you over. Well, I have been my doubts, but you're welcome to try. The slits have a fort on an island due south of here, and a lot of their operations start there. If you could find some of their plans there, bring them to me. How can I get there? You'll need a boat. I don't have one to spare. All ours were sunk by slith raiders. You might find one in Katra. Uh, can I get any sort of bounty for killing slits? Bounty? Why, the reward of slaying an enemy of Avernum should be enough. But if you could kill the head shaman of the slith settlement across the river to the west, I would gladly give you a reward. Tell me more. The slits have a village at the north end of the swamp across the water to the west. Well defended, but not a true fortress. I sent scouts to investigate it, but the shaman detected them. Led the hunt against them himself. What happened? We saw them die. The shaman and his servants hunted them to the water's edge, straight across the river from us. And then... She shakes her head. We saw it all. What is the importance of the shaman? Not much. He just looks after a village. They grow crops, fish, raise young slith zarekai so they can grow to destroy us. But he killed my men before my eyes. So this... For this... He must pay. Okay. That's nice armor. Thank you. It was my armor when I was an Empire soldier. Why is it still undamaged? 
A minor enchantment purchased by me when I was on the surface, back when I could afford such foolish vanity. You were an Empire soldier? Doesn't that make you my enemy? No longer. You see, I was one of the soldiers at the portal where prisoners were thrown into Avernum. Then, as the years went on, I started to sympathize with those exiled here. At last, I felt I could serve the Empire no longer. I threw myself through the portal. Now I am one of you. It is uncomfortable, but to me, honor is the most important thing. Um... I admire your resolve. That was an honorable deed. If only the slits outside our gates were as admirable. Uh, didn't she have something else I said? No. No, she didn't. Uh, you have many holes in your walls. She laughs. You are kind. Our ho walls are more whole than stone at this point. It is only great vigilance and cunning that keeps Fort Branlin standing. How long can you hold out here? As long as we need to. I'm an Avernite now. I will not fail. Okay, so, uh... Get some stuff to look for now. We'll have money to steal. Anything good in the desk? No. It's over here. Come over here. There's a broom. Some javelins. And nothing down there. Archer. A named NPC. Important. And they just got all this stuff laying around. I'll just take it all. A heavy-set woman with blue robes and a staff watches the river carefully. She has a serious expression and short brown hair. She says, I am Siannan. A sentry. Shh. Why are you watching the river? Shh. Watching for slits. Be very quiet. The slits can attack this way? Yes, they're quite versatile, and they can stay underwater for a long time. The sliths approach underwater. We have to keep the dock here to get supply. What? We have to keep the dock here to get supplies by boat. Usually, I only hear the littlest noise before they come up. Shh. <laughs> stay silent. She appreciates it and has nothing else to say. Th th these little. <laughs> Seems a little bit pointless to me. What is in here? A lot of stuff. What is that? A golden goblet. Wow. Steel javelins. I will take those too. Now he can actually be useful and throw things. Crude wooden sign says the infirmary. In Todrick, a young man in long robes greets you. He can see that y you can see that he wears a thick chainmail tunic underneath them. He wears a baldric with an ankh design on the chest over his armor. He has a fresh scar on his forehead. I am Healer Todrick, he says. Are you in need of aid? Uh, what service can you perform? I provide healing for the soldiers of the fort and travelers. I also occasionally help in the fighting. He touches the scar gingerly. Did you get that scar fighting? I'm afraid so. I'm not too good at it. Not too long ago, a slith swung one of those nasty two-pronged spears at me, and I didn't quite duck quite fast. What? Well, I'm... I'm, uh, <coughs> reading ahead with my eyes before my mouth can catch up. And I didn't duck quite fast enough. Tell the truth, I'd rather be in a nice quiet chapel somewhere. Or traveling. Have you done much traveling? Not enough. I love to travel. I've even been to the north. There's a huge cave up there. It's dangerous to go to because of the spiders, but the sights are wonderful. My main goal is to see the crystal cave. What sort of spiders were you avoiding? Not the dumb poisonous ones. Intelligent, tasty one. <laughs> tasty? <laughs> uh, nasty ones with magical powers. Arania, they're called. There's this spire near the swamp in the cave to the north, and they live all around it. Scary things. Avoid them if you can. What's so special about the Crystal Cave? I've only heard about it. It's not far north of Contra, or so I hear. Around here, there's supposed to be this really hard-to-find cave just filled with these humming quartz crystals. I've heard it's damaged and not what it once was, but it's still a sight to see. Can you teach me any spells? Call Storm, Summon Shade. You know what? Let's learn Summon Shade just for the hell of it. 
And let's learn call storm. I may as well just learn all of these actually. I've got the money. So now the spell should be really powerful. Uh, let's see what all was in here. Probably just a lot of stuff that is all, yes. Except for those, I will take those herbs. <laughs> Never mind the soldiers that will need them. Uh, this one. And he's in my way, so I can't even... What the hell? Supply building. Broken bottles. A lot of shields. One place I have not gone yet. Merwin the Fort Mage. Dr. Merwin, you see a short woman with long curly brown hair and a tired smile. She wears the traditional robes of a magician and her fatigue has left her even paler than the Avernum norm. She gives you a little bow, recognizing in you a kindred spirit. Another tired warrior of Avernum, come to Merwin's humble workshop. I hope you do not have any great need. Keeping our defenses active takes all of my energy and more. What is your job at this fort? Oh, I don't know. No official title. Whatever is asked, really. Working with the army, I suppose. Getting to see lots of sliths really up close. Really close up. I'm dyslexic, too. What do you think about the sliths? Cruel, strong, and they have really admirable mages. It is tempting to dismiss them as simple savages, but they are really quite... She starts to nod off. When she comes to, she has lost her train of thought. How do you help the army? I lend them a fireball here, a haste spell there, at least that's what I do some of the time. Most of the time I put up magical barriers. Why do you need to put up the barriers? You must have seen the state of our walls when you entered. You see, the Sliss have a lot of mages. They've been hitting the wall with spells, trying to knock it down. I fill the holes with barriers. Then, when need be, I dispel them. It's a difficult trick to learn. Dispelling barriers? That sounds great. Can you teach me how to do it? She looks uncomfortable. That is not something I'm supposed to teach. Very private mage information. Of course, we might work something out. There's a slith, a slith town past the swamp to the northwest, across the river, with several of their mages inside. I believe they might have a tome inside, which could help us learn more about the magic of our foe. Bring it to me, and I will bend the rules and teach you how to dispel barriers. Why is it so difficult to find one to teach? Uh, simple. A mage teaching someone how to dispel barriers is like a homeowner giving someone the key to his house. We could no longer cast barriers to defend ourselves. Okay. Uh, can you teach magic? I am far, far too busy for that and too tired. Most students go north to Formello or south to the Tower of Magi. But if you are in need, I suppose I can give you a few pointers. Good, good. Days haste slow. Uh, I don't really use any of those. I suppose days might be useful, just in case. And, uh, why not cloak of, cloak? Cloak of curses. Tell me about the fort's defense. You can see much of it for yourself. It falls to the warriors to fight off the Slith raiders. They come to me to create barriers to patch up the walls until they are able to do proper repairs. Making the barriers is draining, but it keeps us all alive. Tell me about the Slith tome. A Slith prisoner swore up and down to me that their mages have this powerful tome in their own town nearby in the swamp. If we had it, we could learn a lot about our enemy. I can tell you a little more than that. I can tell you little more than that, I'm afraid. Uh, how long do the barriers last? If made with the greatest of care, practically forever. When I make them quickly in those miserable conditions, oh, a month or so. Can you teach me how to make them? Yes, as soon as I have five or so years to spare. It's a particularly delicate and demanding art. Okay. Well, uh, we're well on our way to actually learning that for myself. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Um, I guess we're done here. I've been everywhere. So, if I kept going, I'd come to this, but I feel like that's going to take a very long time. So what I think I'll do, I'll go back up to Fort Mello, Fort Draco. There's also a delivery to uh, Fort Mello. So I'll head up that way. Right, I think it was here. Yes, you deliver the tome to Miles. He seems surprised. 
You are not the one who was to deliver this to me. Still, I should not complain. Here's payment for your troubles. And he gives you a pair of scrolls. I should probably start using these. Give me resistance to magical attacks. In fact, I can probably use that against the, uh... You know, that, that uh... Bat guy. The bat assassin. Bat cave assassin, yeah. Anyway, up to Fort Draco. For this wine, I think. I can't remember what all these other ones are. Good grief, I've got so many. Oh, there's a... Uh, I can get rid of these while I'm here. Um, mushroom meal. Sell it to her. Okay. It gives me a little bit of experience, too. I got rid of that. Yeah, now I need to get rid of that wine. Uh, it was tools and tongs, correct? Tongs and pincers. No, I don't think I have... Okay, I've got one pair of pincers. Why am I collecting tools? I don't know, but I got three of them. And I can't combine them. Okay, I need to keep an eye out for that too, then. Was there a... Yes, there's a smith right here. Just got a pair of pincers I can take. How convenient. Alright, well, uh, I don't suppose she could sell me anything. No. Uh, let's sell all this stuff. Okay, so off to Fort Draco. Okay, I finally found who I was looking for. It's one of the bills. I have a few bottles of cheap wine. I'll sell them to you. Bill takes your jugs of wine, smells it, and nods. Yep, that's good enough for my people. That's not very good, mind you. Just good enough to get them where they want to go. He has a foundry worker haul off the wine and pays you for the jugs. Thanks again. You've made this cinder of a fort a happier place. Or at least a woozier one. I got 12 gold coins for that. What are you working on? Oh, uh, just nothing. Okay, I got a minimal amount of experience for that. Are you kidding? With how rare this is? I guess just because it's not a very difficult quest. You know, compared to like fighting a dragon or something. Although it's damn difficult to find, just like that bag of sugar. I'm glad I know where that is now. I'm glad there turned out to be another one. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure this invading giant would still kick my ass. Even though we've leveled up, I still don't have amazing equipment. I'm still wearing this bronze helmet. For crying out loud. I mean, this guy's got a, an iron one. that I could steal, anyway. Or that I could just buy. Let's buy an iron helmet. There's iron greaves, too. Yeah, see, there's one I could have stolen. Um, man, I could probably use a really, really big upgrade on all of my stuff. I'm just sort of walking around with a bunch of stuff I've been collecting. Anyway. Uh, that's probably good enough for now. I might... Damn. I, I'm going to be upset if I ruin this and I cannot finish it. Uh, actually, no. I guess I'll probably come down here and take care of the slits. Because I can get my boat from Katra. Or Silvar. Because I have two. Idiot that I am. I didn't need to buy that many. But, uh, yeah, so I'll probably come down here, come back to Katra, and uh, take care of that next... Uh, wait a minute, I've got a boat. Maybe... Hmm, I wonder. Because this whole area here doesn't actually look like it goes anywhere. You know what? 
Let's go get my boat. Forget that. We're gonna keep going. I have no idea. That's not my boat. That's my boat. I have no idea how much time I've spent already. But it couldn't hurt to spend a little more. Ooh, what is that? Uh, it is apparently... Uh... Okay, I have a feeling this is one of these spider's lairs. The Aranya that uh, I need their fangs from, I believe. The walls of this valley are covered with thick, impassable sheets of spider web. However, instead of the eerie silence you might expect, you hear, coming from somewhere, a lot of high-pitched voices. They seem to be speaking in your tongue, though you aren't quite sure what they're saying. Um, I'm tempted to use these. I mean, they'll wear off by the time I actually get around to using them. But, uh, let's try it anyway. Because you never know. This cave is filled with webs, stretched floor to ceiling, and stalagmite to stalagmite. Spiders run up and down them and back and forth across the floor and ceiling. These are large spiders, most of them three or four feet tall. Ugh. However, something weird is going on. First, the spiders are all talking. Second, they are talking in really high-pitched voices. Third, well, they seem to be somewhat eccentric. Fortunately, the spiders seem to be quite friendly, both of each, both to each other and to you. They don't seem to regard you as prey. Always a good sign. Now, yeah. So, some of these spiders... Well, let's talk to one. You try to talk to the spider, but it's too shy. It lets out a loud, surprised squeaking noise and runs away. I need to... I need to collect the bones. I remember that, that uh, in one of those conversations, someone had told us that the spiders were friendly, but then there were also the ones that we need to collect the fangs from because they were evil. Gnats are tiny. Look, a fly! Oh boy, that, that looks bad up there. So let's not go that way just yet. See a giant spider. Its multitude of eyes are about at waist level. It's wandering around and looking for something. The spider is a bit more poised and authoritative than the other spiders. When it sees you, it is very pleased. Hello to you, mighty traveler. I am Spider. What are you looking for? Maybe I can help? I'm looking for flies. I met this human once, and he told me there were things called cockroaches, which are really yummy. But I've never found any, so I eat flies. What did you learn about cockroaches? Well, hmm, they're slower than flies and meteor, and they walk around instead of fly. And they shoot fireballs. So you have to be careful. Or is it the Aranya that shoot the fireballs? It's so hard to keep everything straight. Aranya? It sh shudders, and the long hairs on its abdomen stand up. They're mean, and they're less smart like us. But where we are nice and friendly, they are cruel and nasty. You should stay well away from them. Can you tell us anything about them? That they are scary and mean, very scary and mean. If they weren't, we'd do go do the rescue ourselves. Rescue? They all study magic from when they're barely out of their eggs, and they're good at it. So be careful. Oh, and you're cute. Yuck. Do you need help with anything? Oh yeah, it suddenly turns sad. Its four legs droop. One of our spiders was captured by the Aranya. They're smart, mean spiders. They live in another cave to the... It struggles to remember the word. West. I've been trying to get a nice, cute human to rescue him. We could give a reward. So what's the reward? A bunch of flies? Nope, flies are too tasty to give you. A bunch of mean people came here once. We webbed them all in a cave. You can't get to it now. If you freed our friend, we'd take the barrier down and you could go in and take their silly things. Okay. Neat! <laughs> um, man. This passage here is blocked by an exceptionally thick wall of webs. Unlike the other webs you've seen, no bugs hang off this one. A spider walks up behind you and says, We trapped some bad, bad people back there. They were mean and attacked us, so we walled them up. Then it gives you a quick kiss and runs away. Ew. With the 
those thick, hairy mandibles. Give you nightmares. Gives me nightmares. Ah, secret passageway. Se secret? Touch the damn secret panel. There we go. Uh, there's a body here. You find the withered body of a goblin. It's clearly been here a long, long time. The body doesn't show any signs of spider bites. It must have been hiding back here and died of causes unrelated to arachnids. There's a pair of grounded boots. Energy resistance. Plus three to luck. Well, let's try these. Although, I'm sure the luck might be handier. The pathing in this cave is a little bit awkward. It's not working so well. You know, it makes me feel like there's a bunch of secret stuff, but it's just a windy cave. Aha. Uh -huh. What the hell? What's that good for? Just in case you couldn't see the other... Ah. Something tells me there's something in there. Oh, I, d I can't go that way. I need to go around this way. To the blood splattered floor. Save. There might be an arena. Oh, that's blocked off too. Okay. So there is some place. What was it? The west? that I need to go kill Aranya. Which I'm assuming is going to be off that way. Yes, it is. But I don't want to go off that way. I want to go... I think this is the end of the map up here. So, all this stuff... I think I've been to... Oh yeah, because there was that, that hidden... There's a lot of hidden stuff around here. Um, well, let's not go that way yet. go looking around down here. Because there might be some good stuff down here. Let's go check all the passageways. Ah. Nope, nothing there. There's something we were chasing away. What is this? Apparently nothing. You meet a large group of giant spiders. You prepare to defend yourselves. However, instead of building webs or attacking you as expected, they are running around playing and chatting in high-pitched voices. When they see you, they jump in surprise, yelp, calm down, and move away to resume what they were doing. The main thing you can determine about them is that they are very silly. Eventually, they regain their composure and wander off. I forget what all these caves and tunnels over here lead off to. Hmm. Ah, uh, that must be the cave with the Aranya. Yes, it has to be. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this one here and we'll go into that cave in the next episode.